Okay, so in this video, I just want to walk you through how to use the cryptocurrency strength indicator. And this is what we always recommend. And if you've watched videos on the Forex currency strength indicator, this is exactly the same principle. Just widen that out a little bit. There we go. There we are. And I've got three time frames because it is all about using this in multiple time frames. It doesn't matter what your time frame is. I remember um, I didn't mention it before, but the indicator works on all time frames that you have in in trading view. So whatever you have here, from one second, five second, right the way through, the indicator will work on those time frames. So whatever it is you're trying to do, whether you are a scalping trader down at this particular level, I've got the three, the five, and the ten minute here. Whether you're on a slower term uh, trend or swing uh, trading opportunity, you may be up into the half hour, the hour, the four hour, whatever it may be, the principles are exactly the same. Because if you use it in this way across multiple time frames, what you will witness is what we're seeing here pretty much is we've had a nice, solid, strong move. We've seen the uh, Bitcoin market en masse move generally higher up into the overbought area. We're seeing it moving up into overbought on five. It hasn't got to overbought on 10 yet, but it might well do in due course. And Tether here, our counter currency, the USDT, has moved down into oversold. It's down into oversold on five but it's got a little way to go on 10. Now, any change in trend will happen in your fastest time frame. So what you will see on your one, two, three minute, whatever it may be, is the constant oscillation from overbought to oversold, back to overbought again. And it's exactly the same principle as in the Forex world. These cryptocurrencies are moving in a very similar way to currencies in forex in spot forex or, or currency futures this constant journey from overbought to oversold and back again so it's moving higher and then it moves lower and then it moves higher again now clearly on a fast time frame if there is a general change in in the trend in other words we're we're seeing a reversal in our slowest time frame from a bullish to a bearish or a bearish to bullish then that will start in the very fastest time frame, and it will start to move lower. Now, if that from from the overbought region in this case, now if that is going to ripple through into a slower time frame, in inverted commas, in other words, our five minute, then the move we're seeing here, this will start to move lower. This will start to be reflected over here on five, and possibly in due course, it will ripple right the way through over to ten. The analogy I've used many many times before is of dropping a pebble in a pond. You throw a pebble in the pond and the ripples from that pond move out to the edge of the pond. And it's exactly the same here. It's a ripple effect. It starts in your fastest time frame. It moves across into your medium time frame and out to your slowest time frame. And that's why it's so critical as a trader that you decide what it is you're trying to do in this particular trading opportunity. Are you are you an out and out scalper trader here? That's all you're interested in is you're going to scalp this market. You're maybe on a three or five minute time horizon. That's it not interested in what's going on on the daily, not interested in what is going on on the four hour time frame. It's purely focusing on what is going on in terms of this particular time frame. And you are trying to scalp this market and grab um, some some profit out of it in a, in a matter of, of seconds or minutes. And then you're out and then you're on to the next trade. Now, the person down here at the 10 minute or the 15 minute may well be witnessing this this reversal here. But to them, all that is is just a minor pullback. They are interested in the longer term time frame. And that's what trading comes down to. It's 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 segmenting out. It's putting blinkers on yourself as to saying, this is what I'm trying to do in this time frame. That's all I'm interested in. I'm starting to see this develop. Now, as a scalping trader, if I put this on to, let's drop this down to, let's say, one minute. Let's imagine we're really down at the coal face. You know, this uh, trend is already well underway for a scalping trader because we've moved up into overbought. We're, we're almost halfway down. Tether is, you know, nearly halfway up. So this is a great trend on one minute. So if we were on a, a 30 second, one minute, two minute combination, you know, that may well be enough for you as a scalping trader. Um, it's as simple as that. And it's really just setting this up, using it in multiple time frames 
And using it in this way, I'll just put that back to three minute again, using it in that way to give you this, this clarity of, first of all, what is going on in terms of the the uh, cryptocurrency market per se. In other words, this block that moves on mass. Secondly, what is happening in terms of tether down here? Is it overbought, oversold? You know, where is it? And then putting the two together and giving you this great visual picture of which cryptocurrency you want to trade, where we are in the cycle, in your chosen time horizon, and taking that opportunity. Now, you have to decide whether you want to get in early here. Am I looking at overbought and oversold? In other words, a reversal trade. Getting in early comes at a price. You have to set a wider stop loss. If you're going to wait for this trend to develop, Bitcoin starts to fall away here. Tether starts to rise. Maybe you're going to jump on the moving train once it's underway. That's fine. Your stop loss can be much tighter. Um, but obviously, you've already given up some of this price move here that's already taken place, some of this price move here that's already taken place. So you've lost that. You can't regain that. And that is the difference. You have to decide in advance. Am I going to be, uh, am I comfortable putting more risk on the table, but actually getting more reward as a reversal trader? Or am I going to stick to my guns and just be a trend trader, jump on the trend once it's underway and put a much tighter stop loss on, so lower risk on the table, but you've already given up part of the trend that is already developing nicely. And you can start to see this is moving on three, just starting to roll over on five, starting to flatten a little bit over on 10. And of course, the further out you go, you know, the less important this becomes to you because your time frame is far different to a scalping trader at this end who has perhaps already taken a trade. They're in and they're out. They've made some money. It's as simple as that. So that's the cryptocurrency strength indicator. We are hugely excited. I hope that uh, you will be too. If, as I said in one of the other videos, if you already have the full package of indicators for TradingView, you will receive this free of charge. It's something that applies to all our platforms, irrespective. Um, if you if you are a full package holder, if you've bought the full package, invested with us, it's our way of saying thank you. So whatever indicators we develop on that particular platform you will get them added for free. It's our way of saying thank you to you. Uh, remember, TradingView is used um, is, uh, is a browser-based. It's a fantastic platform. You can also link um, uh, some accounts to it uh, so you can trade automatically through them. Um, it's just a wonderful platform. So I hope you've enjoyed this particular video. Lots more to come as always. And uh, look forward to the launch of, uh, keep an eye out for the launch of um, the uh, cryptocurrency strength indicator, which will be coming to you very, very soon. So thanks for watching. See you soon and bye for now.